So here's the issue. We've got uh, the BLM went in and lit fire along the uh, hillside here by the dump, but there's nobody here. It would be easy with a couple of guys with shovels right now to put this out and uh, we'd have a good fire break, but when the wind hits it, it's going to carry it right on along the hill and down to French Glen, which is right there. So and if it creeps away from the hill, obviously in the foreground, there's a lot of fuel. So it looks like it's set to burn French Glen and that's what they said they would do. So here we go. So as you can see, they brought the fire right to us. It was uh, way west last night when the sun went down, it was dying down. Somehow overnight it ended up right here. It's pretty obvious that this is man lit. Well, I'm at Gary's Krells here and uh, last night, well, nobody's around. They lit the fire right here close to everybody's houses and we're going to have a hell of a lot of fire come evening. They're not putting it out, they're lighting it. This is a bunch of bullshit, let me tell you. We're standing at the crowds, and them sons of bitches started at the corner of the road where it leaves the pavement, and they're lighting that son of a bitch on fire all the way around us. They're going right down that. I'm standing here, me and John Whitzel. You got a water truck and stuff, and the grader is building a fire line, and they're building a the fire all the way around us. Yeah. And it's a flaming. Upwind of us. And yeah, and we're out there. smoke's coming right out. Well, John's taking pictures right now, and he said that they told him they're going to torture all the way around to the Sea Bar Sea Road, and. Noose Wander's cows are fence cornered up down there right now. Gary lost 11 already. They're just about to burn that outfit up. Nobody's there. They lit the fire and moved right on. This is what they've got lit up wind of us right now. They're putting in a whole line of fire right along that juniper post fence and burning the fence up, number one. But then they're. John, somebody ought to get his head rubbed in the gravel out there. They're going to continue right on to the west, sounds like, clear up past Leon's cows, so his cows are going to be wrapped in it here pretty quick. Now they're still lighting, burning fences, power poles, you name it. This is the fire that would endanger French Glen. There's still nobody around. This guy down the road told us they didn't have any resources to put it out. But down the road about two miles, Beyond the turn out of sight is at least a dozen pumpers sitting there eating snacks and whatnot. I got there determined they're going to burn everybody out. They're lighting it up here again. Got Jimmy and Gary and those guys uh, right downwind of where these guys are lighting fire again. We're heading trying to go help save the corral system and uh, get the pale Jimmy out of trouble. Yeah, he said, I will arrest you. This highway is closed, God. I said, well, I got to get on the other end of the fire. Where was this? You ain't going, he said. I said, well, we got to get over there because if you burn me out down there. Well, so, yeah, this is what we got. Those guys that we just went by upwind, they're lighting it. Have it coming right to us here. We're going to try to spur this down. No place to go with the cow except in the corral. A lot of them are already burnt really bad from them guys lighting them and trapping these cattle in the fire. They trapped a bunch of them last night. And then they went upwind of us here and lit it up. So we're at Gary's Krells. Here's a cow that's been burnt really bad. We got these guys gonna light fire up from us again. They don't care where we're at or what's going on, but so. So here's what we got. Oh, 
Well, there goes the house up in smoke that they surrounded with fire earlier. The house is going up, totally caused by BLM. <laughs> 